Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to do a problem on engineering economics. We're going to calculate the annual worth, giving future worth, present worth, and maintenance cost per year. Now, these type of problems are important if you're taking FE civil, mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking engineering economics class. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Okay, guys, so someone asked me to solve this problem. It is on the practice exam from the NCS book. Um, it's a very good problem. I got two questions on my exam that are very similar to this, so make sure you guys understand it. Also, for their solution, it is going to be just slightly different than what we're going to do here, just because their signs are a little bit different. I don't know why they have it like that, but the majority of the engineering books, if you have an outflow, it's going to be negative and an inflow is positive, whereas the solution, it shows it the opposite. I don't know why, but you should, either way, you should still get the same answer. And I'm, I'll make sure to talk about it more here as we go and as we solve the problem. Okay, so we're giving a truck that costs $9,500. After eight years, it has a salvage value of $6,000. Now, the maintenance cost is $700 per year. What that means is every single year, you spend $700 for maintenance. Now, the interest rate is 12%, and we need to calculate the equivalent uniform annual cost. So the first thing we're going to do here is cash flow diagram, right? Actually, you know what? Let's first determine what's an outflow and what's the inflow on here. So this is going to be an outflow. So let's write O. And then this is an inflow, right? That's going to be positive if this is an inflow. And this is an outflow because you're spending $700, $700 every year. Okay, so let's draw now in the diagram. So remember, outflow, we have arrow down. Inflow, we have an arrow up. So we have here present worth. So I have 9,500. That's at year zero. Then I have, so we have eight years. So I'm just going to do one, two, and so on. So we have, and then let's just say this is eight. This is eight year. Now this, this is all A, right? This is all A. That A is $700 per year. So every single year you spend $700. Now at year eight, you're going to make $6,000 from this drug. That's, that's your savage value, right? Okay, what else did we miss? Okay, and then the interest rate is 12%. And so pretty much we need to calculate the annual worth. So convert the present worth and the future worth. This one does need to be converted because it's already in annual worth. Okay, so let's go to the equations. So page 135, and let's start writing the equations that we need. Okay, so I'm trying to find for A, right? That's what we're trying to calculate. Now, the first one is going to, let's do AM, this one. Let's call it AM for maintenance so that we don't confuse it with the annual worth for all these values. So we have AM, right? And this is going to be negative because it's an outflow. That's one, how much we're spending. So I have minus AM. Uh, then we have, let's convert this present worth into annual worth. Okay, so let's look for the equation. So we need to convert to, to A given P. So convert to A given P, so we need this one. Okay, so let's write, don't forget the P. So we have A to P, I have the interest rate, and then we have N years. Now, for the future worth, this is F, right? And this is P. Future worth, now I need to convert to A given F. So convert to A given F. So I'm going to use this equation right here. So I have, but this one is going to be positive. Now, because this is an inflow, it's going to be positive. So this is positive, this is negative, and this is negative because it's an outflow. Okay, so plus I have F. Now convert A to F. I have interest rate and number of years. Now on the solution, what they have is these signs are opposite. So they have this one positive, positive, and this is negative. So, but if you calculate this, we're going to have a negative answer. They have a positive answer, but it doesn't really matter because negative and positive on here, it just says like 
That's this is how much you're losing money or this is how much you're gaining. But your answer or the value, the number is still going to be the same. And that's why it really doesn't matter. But for the majority of the engineering econ books, they have it this way. So let's start plugging numbers. So I have minus $700 minus P, which is $9,500. Now I have A to P, we have 12% and we have eight years. Plus I have $6,000 A to F. Again, we have same thing, 12% and number of years is eight. Okay, so now we need to go to the tables and look at, find these values right here. So let's leave space for that. Okay, so we're looking for 12%. So we have it right here. So it's on page 142 and we're looking for N is eight years, 0 0.2013. And the second value is A to F, which is here. And then I'm looking for eight years, which is 0 0.0813. So if you plug in this in your calculator, you will get an answer of $2,125. You will also get a negative sign. But like I said, negative, it just means you're spending. And the answer usually, like, we don't really care if it's negative or positive from uh, engineering problems, economics problems. Because, it just, again, it just means you lost or you gained. And this is how much you lost or gained. So as long as you keep, you stay consistent with your signs, like if, so all your outflow, if you pick to be negative, then stay with that and your inflow is positive or the other way around. Whatever sign you pick, just make sure you stick with it. And then at the end, you will still get the same answer. Okay, guys, so I hope that video was helpful. And also, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below, and I will make sure to address it in the future. The majority of the questions that I go over here, it's because people have asked me in the past. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine.